And we're back already with game number two in the show match between Jesse the Emperor and Aka. And we're playing on Lombardia, which is the home map of Jesse the Emperor. And Jesse the Emperor actually picked the Magyar, so he wants to go for scouts, I'm certain of it. Herr Aka, on the other hand, uh, has picked the Bulgarian, so we might see some early man-at-arms action. Now, on Lombardia, uh, we have a lot of cattle, uh, a lot of cow roaming around. The cows have extra food, uh, 50 more food uh, than, a, than a sheep, um, so there's a lot of food to be had. And um, uh, otherwise, I think it's pretty standard. We have berries, uh, we have uh, two boars, and then uh, three gold piles, a stone pile, and some woodline. So this is another version of Arabia, basically. And I'm just trying to find uh, the differences. Probably just a few minor differences, like the woodlines are maybe a little bit bigger, and um, stuff like that. But otherwise, pretty Arabia-like. So uh, we all know what to expect here. So I think Jesse just should just go for a kind of fast feudal build and then uh, surprise uh, his opponent with uh, scouts. Although it won't be a surprise, but uh, if you're quick enough, uh, it will be nice. Uh, and Aka, I think, um, Aka, of course, over here in the red, uh, he might want to go for some militia, for some, some drush and then upgrade the Drush uh, to Man at Arms, or they will automatically upgrade to Man at Arms once he reaches the Feudal Age. Uh, so let's see what these players will go for. Now in terms of resources, uh, we can see that uh, Aka has kind of forward gold but behind the wood line, uh, gold far off to the side and another gold far off to the side, whereas uh, Jesse has gold more here to the side, close to his TC, and then two secondary golds. Uh, over here, so I think his base is not quite wallable, so he can just wall across here uh, and Then wall across the front. Okay here. He needs to bridge uh, Quite a gap, but then he can just close uh, His base, so I think that's that's quite decent and for Herr Aka, He may uh, need to close a bigger gap over here if he wants to wall uh, And I think it's always advisable to wall in, in in these kinds of maps because then you're just safe uh, against laming and uh, so let's see what the, the players will go for and um, as not too much is happening I think also in terms of scouting now Aka sending the scout forward um, Jesse the Emperor on the other hand um, already having the scout forward had the scout forward quite a while here. I think he was trying to kill the deer, which of course you cannot do. And now he's just circling around the TC. We just saw him uh, place the flag, so that's shift clicking. Uh, so if you hold down shift and then give these move commands, then the scout will just follow this. And um, yeah, that's very nice because then you can just explore all, uh, all what you can yes. want to see um, without idling the scout or without having to constantly micromanage him. And now we see that Haka is trying to steal a cow, but it uh, doesn't work. The cow is being brought back by Jesse the Emperor. So no cattle is being lost here at this point. And uh, so he is happily harvesting the food uh, from the corpse. But we can see, if we look at the villager numbers, that Jesse the Emperor is actually fallen behind, so he's not as consistently uh, producing villagers as is Haaka. Haaka, on the other hand, just very standard, very safe, going for the woodland in the back. Uh, having the woodland already kind of pre-walled, um, of course he will add, have to add some, some more walls, but overall this is already a very safe setup against some kind of crush or against some kind of scout rush. Uh, so I like this very much, you probably uh, maybe we'll want to wall the berries as well, just to be extra safe, uh, so that he can just attack in the front and not worry about what's happening uh, in the own base. Uh, let's see if the players are going up to the feudal age. So so far, 
none of the players is going up, but they should think about going up soon. I hope that they are um, on top of their build order. And uh, I think Aka is missing this boar. Um, I think that's why he's struggling for food, because he has 20 pop. And I don't really see him go up to fuel age uh, very soon. So he will need to produce a couple more villager, I guess, until he is able to click up. Jesse the Emperor, uh, on the other hand, uh, okay, now we're I think now we're back to the to the correct uh, settings. Uh, so at least this is now Jesse the Emperor, and it actually is Jesse the Emperor. Uh, so that's that's nice, not like in the other game. Um, Jesse, of course, having a little bit of food, please economy. Also, not taking not taking this boar and not taking this boar. He hasn't taken any boar so far, uh, and this is not going to work. He's not going to go up to the next age and be able to pump out scouts without the boars. Look at this. This is juicy. 340 food on each of those. Uh, so that's. 600 and uh, something food of course it's less than the maximum because there's decay on the corpses you lose a little bit of food over time uh, but he could produce so many scouts with this uh, and yeah he's just not going to be able to do that at the same time Aka already having the two militia rush <coughs> two militia rush kind of a recent invention i would say uh, usually you need, would go for three militia, but for that you would need to collect ten gold. So you would just send one villager to collect gold that would be would be dropped off to the town center, and then you retask uh, the villager. Uh, but if you just skip that, you just go for two militia and just be annoying. You don't expect to kill anything with two militias, but you can just be so annoying. Just pester the wood line, maybe pester the berries if you can find it, and uh, yeah, just go from there. Uh, now let's see, Aka already up to the Feudal Age, or on the way out to the Feudal Age, and the same goes for Jesse the Emperor. And uh, then I think the real action will start now. Hey, Aka, I think put those militia on patrol, maybe? Um, or he wants to defend from the forward villages, so that's why he's sending them back. And you can see the, the bonus of the Bulgarians, the militia, are instantly upgraded to man-at-arms, and that's just a very strong power spike. And imagine if those man-at-arms had been here in the woodline. That would be much better than having them here in the back, because the villagers of Jesse the Emperor, they're not going to do much. Like, what are they going to do? Lame the boar that Te'aka is not even taking? Um, so yeah, that's... I don't know what, what his plan is. Uh, exactly at this position. Now we see Haaka coming forward with villages, so I think he will want to go for towers, because why else would you send five villagers, which is just the number you need for a tower rush. But I think uh, his scouting is not optimal. Yes, indeed, it's not optimal. He doesn't know about the wood line uh, here, so he just drops the tower uh, in the middle, uh, right in the middle here. And I think this could be denied if, if you just pull everything, pull all the villagers, uh, just rush this down and with these villagers just fend off the men-at-arms. I mean, one of them is already weak, uh, so this could easily be stopped. Uh, but once the tower is up and is walled in, it gets much more difficult. Uh, now, Jesse the Emperor, on the other hand, he is going for a forward stable, and that is a ballsy, ballsy move. That's why he was sending those villagers forward. But uh, I don't know if this was going to work. Um, those villages are nicely walled in. Those are not quite walled in, but it's it's just a couple of tiles, so the scouts will not be able to do much. And then we see a ballsy tower. Uh, so Jesse is really, <laughs> really turning up the heat at this point. But at the same time, we see towers here from Heaka. And I, I wonder, what is this? What year are we playing in where tower rushing is the meta game again? Of course, towers have been buffed slightly recently, um, so yeah, I can I can see towers just um, be more prevalent in the meta game going forward. So far, it looks pretty close in terms of score, but if you look at the villager numbers, Heaka having a huge advantage, uh, and now this tower will just get battered down. And uh, I think one scout is not going to save it. I mean. He might kill a villager, but uh, not even that is guaranteed. And now the uh, the spearman um, yeah jumps out, and now these villagers are defenseless. 
uh, of Jesse the Emperor. The scouts didn't accomplish anything. And at the same time, Aka doing the good old loop around the base with towers. That's that's so insulting if you face this and don't know how to defend from this. Um, then then you're just furious because you're like, what can I do? What what's the what should I just do here? And and how insulting is this? But uh, honestly, you can just rush the towers down, and that's something. Uh, players, especially lower levels, they don't know, they just for, tend to forget uh, that villages have, uh, are very strong against the towers, so you can just batter the towers down. But of course now with three towers and a fourth one on the way, it gets more and more difficult. And uh, honestly, this is a, a pretty bad situation here for our player in blue, for Jesse the Emperor. And I don't see how he comes back from this. Is forward nothing. He's just losing everything to the spearmen. And now going for a sneaky forward stable. I mean, we have to give uh, credit to uh, Jesse the Emperor because he's very creative. He has kind of wacky ideas, and oftentimes they do not work. But when they work, I think uh, everyone will say, "Okay, that's that's genius. That's just very, very good and intelligent move." But look at this the tower creep. This is just, this is just ridiculous. Like the towers are just everywhere. Another tower being being uh, constructed here, and now he's trying to rush down the towers. But I think now it's a little bit too late because now you have all the other towers already shooting, and the villagers can just hop inside and shoot down these villagers. Or even if you batter down uh, all these towers, you lose so much. Already one villager has been lost. And uh, another one has been lost, another one bites the dust, and we had this just, just a dire, dire situation here for Jesse the Emperor, who is down to 14 villagers, and I just don't see it here for our player in blue. I mean, he might go for some more uh, villager um, fisticuffs, but uh, I expect a GG to be called soon. And. Yeah, wow. and look at those men at arms, they're so menacing here. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Uh, and all came down to Jesse the Emperor not taking the boars. I mean, he was just so slow because he wasn't able to take the boars, get this extra food in, and uh, with that get the scouts rolling. And I think at this point you can just call the GG. I mean, it's 14 villages. None of them are working, basically. Well, one is not working, one is going to the wood line. And what is he expecting to do? He has three scouts. He needs to kill how many villagers? Like 13 villagers. Uh, and granted, he, he could do that with some clever micro and uh, if Haka doesn't pay attention. Um, but honestly, I just don't see it at this point. Uh, yes, Jesse now finally battering down more towers, but the villagers are weak. And they're just dying like flies. And this one will get shot down, I think. This one dies. This one dies. And, uh, and the men-at-arms are still there. So another one will die. And oh, this is just a massacre. This is this is really gruesome. This is uh, should be R-rated at this <laughs> at this point. There is so much uh, death and destruction happening. Uh, it's really incredible. But let's showcase a good attack here by Jesse the Emperor as he's not going down without a fight. Uh, but look at the scouts fumbling around and uh, killing one villager. And uh, yes, maybe a second one, but no, now they're getting shot down. Prioritizing the farms, of course, because what else would you attack as a scout? But still, valiant effort here for Jesse the Emperor. Nicely done. But I think in the end, it's all in vain. He will kill another villager, so that's very nice, and might even kill another one. Um, but honestly, at this point, Haka doesn't need to worry about anything. Uh, he has this game under control. His opponent is down to 10 villagers, uh, and some of them are garrisoned in the town center, I presume. He's even killing the mill, and, and this is all that Jesse has. Uh, and one scout that is just... Uh, being killed here by Haaka, and I think at this point Jesse should just call it GG. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much he can do, or nothing he can do. I mean, he can now try to batter down another tower, but this is all just too late. This is something you need to do immediately. 
Um, you can see that the villagers, they can take out down the tower no problem at all. So this is also for the newer players out there. And just just better down the tower. There's, there's nothing uh, keeping that flimsy tower up. And there it goes. But if you let your opponent get out as many towers as Haka has, then it becomes tricky. Then you start to lose villagers. Uh, and especially if your opponent also has a man at arms, then it becomes really, really tricky. And I think this is this is everything that uh, Jesse has. It's just a couple of villagers. And yes, as I said, at this point he should just uh, resign and um, just get into the next game. Um, don't drag this game on too long because then you get in this kind of negative mindset into this negative mood. And that doesn't help, so you should just call the GG and say, okay, next next game, I have a better plan, I am more prepared, and then just um, take it from there. Um, yes, so, but at this point, as I said, Jesse, known for cockroaching, uh, known for not leaving games uh, when they are objectively over. And so, yeah, he's trying his best to cling on, he is leaving... Uh, with some villagers out here, but I, I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, this is just uh, just annoying for Haka. Maybe maybe that's the plan of Jesse Dapper. Maybe he wants to um, annoy Haka so that Haka is like, oh, come on, and makes a mistake. Maybe not in this game, but in the next game, um, he might make a mistake, and then suddenly Jesse the Emperor might win this one. But so far, uh, I don't really see this. Uh, I mean, we have. Five villages here, three villages here, and that's it. And I think, yeah, one more villager here, and then maybe one inside of the town center. If you quickly look, there's one villager inside the town center shooting exactly one arrow um, if any enemy unit comes close. And I think even this villager will just go down. No, no, it's being retasked, but not into the town center. Ah, it's being retasked to a different farm. Ooh. Brilliant thinking there by Jesse the Emperor. Um, actually, not not a bad move, uh, so that this villager can still work. Um, but yeah, at this point, as I said, not much to be done, and yeah, Jesse can't even afford a town center. Uh, he yeah, he can afford a lump camp, but not a town center. And uh, I think that Aka. Um, should just try to get some cavalry out, maybe some scouts, and search for his opponent already, uh, because this will just take forever otherwise. And yes, this town center will get shot down, but he could also think about uh, going for more men-at-arms and just, just killing the town center. I mean, there's only two villagers garrisoned, it's already lost a lot of HP, and uh, yes, but of course those two men-at-arms are not enough, especially if they're low HP and don't have any upgrades at all. Um, but yeah, so this is just a waiting room game um, for uh, Jesse to give up. And so yeah, I hope you're enjoying this game. Um, uh, and Haka really, really making sure that Jesse cannot escape here. But at this point, let's look at the resources of Haka. As I said, he should maybe just maybe just go to the castle age or like he like because it's clear Jesse is still thinks he's still in the game because he still has a town center, so he can still produce villagers. So there's no reason to resign. Um, so you really need to just kill the town center by any means necessary. And what he could even do, and this would be crazy, but uh, Haka could and should maybe do this is a super late douche um, just to rub it in just send all your villagers forward delete your starting town center and just douche jesse because that would be the easiest and quickest way to kill the town center and as we said jesse cannot afford a town center anymore and then it is gg although i think he does have stone again did you um maybe i didn't see that correctly before but it seems like he does have enough for another town center. Uh, so uh, he might even do the Vasal move, <laughs> which is delete uh, your own TC to build it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, 
Also, this sneaky forward stable has been uh, or is being killed. There's two more scouts being squeezed out by Jesse, but look at the flourishing economy of Heaka. He has all the resources uh, he wants. Um, he is producing villagers, he's going for military, he's now starting to build a little bit of a surplus uh, in terms of resources. Uh, he has to market so he could just buy a little bit of food and then think about castle age or just go for scouts. And uh, and yes, and now we see the deletion of the town center as we suspected. And this is just ridiculous. Uh, because this is never going to work. Uh, if you delete, if you have to delete your starting town center, you have lost the game. And look at these farmers; they cannot do anything because there's there's towers everywhere. So the only farm that's maybe not in range is this one, but this one is not seeded, and so all the villages go down here. And this is all that Jesse has left, and the Akka just needs to go for scouts or for something. To find uh, his opponent and uh, then just close out the game because there's not much uh, left in this game Um yeah so let's just wait together for Jesse to realize that there's nothing he can do Haka now also doing what we said he's uh, looking towards castle age for a little bit of food there has now a great farming economy he will just Go up uh, uh, once he remembers, or I think he's missing the second guild. No, he has the blacksmith. So he is going up uh, right now. And yes, then uh, I think knights would be best because they're mobile. And then uh, he needs a siege workshop. But yeah, on the side of Jesse the Emperor, I mean. He has nothing. He's not even producing villagers. So I, I wonder. Sometimes I wonder what is what is in his head. Like, what kind of mastermind strategy does he have to to that he thinks he can kill uh, Hako, that he can still win this game? Uh, what is this this mastermind strategy that we don't know of, that we would never even dream about? And uh, yeah, but he of course doesn't share um, these these strategies, and he should not share them because he uh, at some point they might actually work out, and then he will look like the genius that he is. Um, but yeah, so so far we have the gold. Of course, uh, he has to mark it still, so that's how he was also able to get the stone. So his idea is uh, certainly just buy everything from the market. However, the problem is in Age of Empires too. There is inflation, so whenever you buy more things, things get more expensive. And so the first uh, food that you buy might be cheap, but if you buy more and more and more, uh, then uh, prices will get higher and higher, and at some point you're simply not uh, economical anymore uh, with mining gold. Now, Heaka is in Castle Age, and I think that might be might be a point where Jesse just calls it and uh, but no he doesn't and Haka really <laughs> I don't know he needs to he needs to go into every corner he just needs to find his opponent uh, as soon as he can at least he's able to kill the market so no more market abuse here from Jesse the Emperor and <laughs> look at the sneaky town center Haka is not able to find it <laughs> and this is this is just a uh, real ridiculous and now we see the scouts are still around and they kill a spearman uh, but at this time now we have a long swordsman as I said automatically upgraded uh, due to the Bulgarians bonus and they will just wreck the scouts and that's exactly what they're doing and I think they have a lot of like move orders all over the map as we said and I think now he found the town center, and I think that uh, that means yes, he will drop the GG castle. And once the GG castle is coming up, um, then this game should be over. But I've said that many times in this in this cast, and Jesse just has to has refused to to give up at this point. He thinks he still has a shot, 
and uh, the only way I could see is that uh, if he has cheats enabled uh, to get a few Cobra cars out, uh, but otherwise there's no chance. And yeah, I, I think we can see the great migration happening again. No, actually he's trying to deny the castle, but the castle is almost up and there's no way that he can deny this. Now we have a knight out on the field. The castle is there and the castle can just shoot down the town center um, if uh, Haaka so desires. And finally the GG has been called and uh, game number two also goes to Haaka. Haaka really having a very, very strong performance here. All right, guys, this was game two of the show match between Haaka and Jesse the Emperor. And uh, yes, I hope to see you in the next one.